I'm Mauricio Noroya. This is my great friend and business partner, Rodrigo Brenner. And we're both co-founders of Furk Design Studio, a design studio from Southern Brazil. We live here in Brazil, although we have lived in Italy before. We lived in Torino and we're always traveling to Italy because we love you guys. And it's a great pleasure to be here with all of you. Yeah, just a little bit about our studio. For, we found it 12 years ago and a lot of crazy things happened in the last 12 years, right? Yes. And uh, we achieved a lot of uh, different awards in the world, including the IF Design Award, Red Dot, Best of the Best, and also the Ken Lions. So a few of the biggest awards in the world. Also, another cool thing is that we have a as poetic as design, business driven approach to design. So we joined Forbes and their third list. It's a, it's a proof that good design is good business. Also, we have two lectures at TED, so you can access TED.com and they have two TED Talks there. The lectures are in Portuguese, but I believe you guys can understand it. And also, we have a very sustainable approach to design. And in recognition to that, we are named, we were named instructors of UNIDO. UNIDO is the United Nations Industrial Development Organization. And so with the United Nations, we discuss how we can mass produce the good in the world. We, we believe that the evil is being mass produced in the world. So we cannot be shy. We have to create an army of good things, sustainable things, poetic things in the world. Perfect. But then first things first, right? Right. Yeah, we believe that the human race has the ability to complicate everything in the world. So, okay, let's go to the beginning. We realize that not many people know what design really means, just this simple word. And everything is design nowadays, right? It's trending. Like, there's garden design, Cake design. Cake design. We love cakes, but <laughs> this is not design, okay? And actually in Brazil, we don't know if you guys have an Italy, but we have actually eyebrow design. <laughs> Everything is design nowadays, right? But uh, going back to the beginning, design is a word that comes from Latin, so just like Italian and Portuguese. And if we go to the essence of the word, we can, could translate it to meaning. Design is meaning. So as designers, we put many things, uh, meaningful things, right, in the world. So we, when we create a product, we are always thinking about the symbolism and the meaning behind it. And it's very interesting when you realize that design means meaning, because you start looking around and you're observing everything around you, if it has a deeper meaning than, it, than its surface, right? The same thing happens when we're creating something. And it's the most beautiful thing because when we start creating with poetry, with a little bit of um, love even, or some emotions or whatever um, purpose that you have into your creation, you, you start creating deeper things. Every, every product we believe um, is just like a vehicle that's actually bringing to the world and to people's daily lives something that they can, that can make their lives better somehow, lighter even. If it could like make their day a little bit happier, make their heart smile, that's amazing, right? So every time that we're developing a project, a new project, the first thing that we think is what are we actually bringing to their lives? It's not just a product. What, do, what is this Product, what is this design actually bringing to their lives? If people don't care about products, right? Yeah, so this is the, the main thing. And from this approach, we dive deep into semiotics and symbolisms because once we have a true, beautiful story to tell, we materialize the story into some product that will communicate and bring this to people's lives. Hopefully, we can mass produce, mass produce this and um, reach as many people as possible. But also, we have to be very responsible about the impacts of what we're creating, right? Everything we create brings something to the world, could be good, could be bad. So we need, we need to have this consciousness about the materials, the process, the cycle, and even the meaning behind it. 
Yeah, the principle, following this principle, we created crazy projects, right? Yeah. From furniture using biofabrics made with a leaf letter to a funerary urn that inspired by a boat, a sailboat that's right behind us, and it's made with mycelium. We created this uh, this project with scientists, so it's very, very amazing and sustainable project. And also, of course, we have different furnitures. We have also the first design, the first prosthetic leg that is uh, first prosthetic leg cover in the world that is being mass produced. So it's really affordable here in Brazil. It's for free and it's available in a lot of different countries. It's among of the most affordable options. So, and, and a lot of people ask us how we can create for such different areas from uh, sailboats to chairs to funerary urns. We just follow the same principle and it's we look deeper into the meaning of the product. Again, people don't care about the products, people actually care about the meaning of the product, right? So it's, uh, we do a lot of research, we talk a lot, we think a lot, and we, we search the deeper meaning behind everything we create. Yeah, so every single creation of ours, we dive deep into this meaning, and when needed, and we go and access as many people that we can, professionals, we can always collaborate with, with specialists from each area as well. We don't have to be the only um, fathers of the, the, the creations that are born in our studio. We actually believe that when we collaborate with specialists from different areas, we can actually dive deeper and deeper into the meaning. So this is a brief conversation with you guys. It's a huge pleasure to be here with you. We hope that um, in some time soon, maybe we can get together in person and visit all of you. So thank you. Grazie mille. Arrivederci. Ci vediamo.